What is the optimal training frequency for calisthenics athletes? Well, we have a good one uh, for you today here, folks. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, before we move on, we need to define what training frequency is. So training frequency is the amount of time you train a specific movement pattern within one microcycle. And the microcycle is usually seven days, right? We break our uh, schedule into seven days period. So a week usually. Uh, if I were to train full body on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that means that my frequency is three times a week, right? We're not talking about muscle groups, don't confuse, since uh, bodybuilding is not our goal, rather it is strength. So what is the optimal training frequency? Your short answer is as frequent as you can, as long as the body is recovered. I know, I know, I'm sorry. This is not as black and white as you wanted, but there's not a lot of simple answers in the strength world. You just have to figure stuff out for yourself. Let me try to break it down to you. As a beginner, the amount of time it will take you uh, to completely recover from our last training session and enter the gym, ready to impose a more challenging uh, training stimulus, might be only two to three days. As an advanced athlete, the amount of time it will take the stress recovery adaptation cycle to be complete elongates. Reason is the amount of absolute stress you have to endure in one acute session in order to cause a training stimulus response is much, much larger. That recovery period, as more advanced athletes, might take seven days. Does that mean that we need to sit around and wait seven days for our next workout? Is that optimal? I don't believe so. My approach towards strength training in general is in, is in a more higher frequency, sort of a skill training approach. Whilst not betraying the stress recovery adaptation principle, training only as frequent as you are recovered, you can still implement lighter recovery workouts that might even facilitate more recovery by flooding some more blood to the muscles and causing some muscle protein synthesis uh, response from the body whilst not creating too much muscle protein breakdown. In between heavy sessions, that might be one light session, two, three light sessions a week even. As long as you keep them light enough to facilitate recovery and not actually delay it, you will see a big boost in performance. So as frequent as we can, as long as you are recovered and as an advanced athlete or as more advanced as you get relatively, that might be longer between your heavy session to the next, but you can still practice lots of good technique, fast powerful repetitions with light recovery sessions, as long as the load is really light enough. Feel free to uh, drop uh, comments down below uh, what should the next topic be. Uh, as always, thank you very much for uh, listening. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Like, share the video. That will help a ton. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, comment down below uh, what the next video should be. And uh, see you next time.